Uh, you know, uh, thank the Lord, uh, the Lord brought us from uh, all of us here from a lot of different places, ain't it? Amen. Amen. Think of all the places you can be on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, you know, the world don't have a clue what's going on here. <laughs> One morning the rapture will come and they still won't know. That's right. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. We're about out of here. Uh, we got a. We need to go to Lord Prayer and ask him to help us here tonight. Yes. Uh, we're uh, this is a Jubilee meeting. Amen. Yeah, let, me, uh, let me say before we go to Lord in Prayer, two or three things is there an order in Jubilee meeting. If the Lord speaks to your heart, you get in on it. Amen. Yeah. Shouting's in order around here. Amen. Amen. Not out of it. Don't scare me. It won't bother me a bit. Mm. Uh, you need to get saved. There's all of it. Amen. Amen. Need help from the Lord. That's their place to come get him right here. That's right. It won't scare me. It won't Amen. bother me a bit. Amen. Amen. That's right. Uh, the Lord does something for you. You ought to pray him first. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. That's right. Uh, this is a uh, Jubilee meeting. Lord, enjoy you, see. Is that right? That's right. Amen. Amen. That's what jubilant means. Uh, we're here to praise the Lord. Amen. So uh, if you're here, you just well get in on it. Don't leave here with your face on the outside. Oh, I didn't get nothing. <laughs> I get to put something a little bit in it if you get anything out. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Uh, so we're going to go to Lord in prayer. How many of you got a spoken prayer request, by the way, before we go to Lord in prayer tonight? All of that. Oh. This may be a little bit out of order. We don't do this all the time. But uh, we're going to go to the Lord and pray around this altar tonight and ask Him to help us. Amen. Amen. Everybody here has got lost people in their family. Is that right? Amen. That's right. Everybody here has got needs in their family. Is that yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe all of prayer works. Yeah. If, uh, let me say something. Right. We believe that the mold around here, we believe that the mold of baptism is right. We believe it's by immersion. Right. right. Yeah. Now, if the mold of Baptism is important if it's by immersion. We believe that. Okay? Then the mode of prayer is important. Now you can pray anywhere you're at. Is that right? Yes. You can. But I believe God honors altars of prayer. Yeah. Amen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So me and y'all who come together around here, we'll go forward in prayer and we'll ask him to help us here. If he don't help us, ain't gonna help her. Amen. Yeah. Make yourself at home. Come on. Yeah. Brother Bullock, please. <clears throat> Grace of God, Almighty Heavenly Father, we come to you. We come to you with thankful hearts for every blessing, everything that you've done for us, everything that you've given us, even this privilege to be here tonight. Lord, we're thankful for it. How that you watched over and kept us and kept us in the way. Your Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Our salvation in Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, that when we was lost, uh, and the Holy Spirit convicted of the sin uh, uh, and, and drawn us to Jesus Christ. Uh, and Jesus saved us and gave us eternal life uh, and a home in heaven. Uh, uh, we thank you for that. Uh, and for we given in an uh, ungodly time. Uh, uh, people before us have lived in ungodly times uh, and ungodly places. Uh, and God, we need uh, uh, we need a moving of uh, you tonight. Uh, uh, we need that uh, for people to see you manifested in such a way uh, uh, that they know whatever is done, uh, uh, whatever happens, it has to be of you. Uh, because man could not do it. Uh, uh, man could not do it. Uh, and uh, we just pray, God, uh, uh, that you just hit the light. Uh, uh, that you just hit in such a way. Uh, uh, that you just uh, uh, work a word tonight. I think this would just show you uh, that you uh, have done it, Lord, uh, and that you God. Uh, how we thank you for sending Jesus that uh, cross. Uh, how we thank you for ever watching over us. Uh, we thank you for being with us. Uh, how we thank you for your love and your mercy. Our uh, uh, Lord, uh, how we thank you tonight. Our uh, uh, Lord, uh, and we pray, Lord, for this sinner that's not uh, on the way to hell. Uh, uh, God, some way, uh, somehow, that uh, somebody. Uh, 
way, and a pinter word in her way, and her heavenly Father, I bless this singing tonight, I bless this church, bless the pastor, bless the preacher tonight. Oh God, just the Lord, and all of it is in such a special way. I the Lord that you'd be exalted, I you'd be lifted up, and He said if you'd be lifted up, you'd draw all men unto you. How we praise you, Lord, for tonight, for this day, and for this time, and we love you in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. 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 I like praying, don't you? I like old time praying. I'm saved because of old time praying. Yes, sir. Amen. Ain't it right? Uh, all right, we're going to have any singers come. Now, listen, Barty, stand up there. Now, let me see how big you are. <laughs> now, listen, me and this guy was in a group together, <coughs> Brother Lee House, when I was your size. Yes, sir. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we both was younger then, wasn't we? We was, we just babies. <laughs> yeah, that's big. Four years ago for me, 25 years for him. <laughs> Come on, brother. Y'all think. Happy crap. Bless the Lord. Yeah. Happy. yeah. yeah. You ain't. Go ahead and sing it over now. Now we're not going to get second verse. 
COVID-19. It's sin sickness. That's right. The only healing for it, there's only one medicine for it, and it's that blood. Amen. Amen. The blood that Jesus Amen. shed on that cross. Amen. Amen. Cover a whole Amen. blood to sins. Amen. Amen. Just a little bitty drop of it. All right. Amen. I'm no longer an orphan. You know yeah. when we yes. oh, yeah. 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 lost out the sin, yeah. we was orphans, wasn't we? Yeah. Right. Right. But when we come to know Amen. Jesus as the Lord and Savior, Yes, you know, yes. we're no longer old. We're, yes. a, we're yes. a royal family. Yes. Yes. I'm glad I'm one, a part of them. Yes. 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 Yes.
Uh, <laughs> Lord, I love George Sears. I said, we have known one another for a lot of years. He used to play the guitar with us, another group I was in. He did a good job. He's a good guitar player. Yes, sir. He, he is, yes, sir. <laughs> he said he knows two notes. I don't know.
figure that out. Okay. I tell you what, if you're serving a dead God tonight, you need to try your different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. Yeah. 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 One week, we've been singing a long time. We're singing a long time ago. We're excited for how long? About a week, 20 years. <laughs> this is one of them the night. I but tell people all the time, Pep all right here, he started singing in 1892. <laughs> this is one of the songs that they sung in 1892. <laughs> and I stopped singing it, I think, in 1900, and we just picked it up again in 2021. <laughs> So, but it's a good song. It says, I'll live again over on the other side. Is that it? So we're going to practice on this. Okay, go down
truly is amazing what a prayer can do. Amen.
see all these preachers that go right along with this song. It says, I don't regret a mile. Amen. No, I don't want to. I tell you what, this young man sat right over here. I got a lot of respect for that man, too. You know, I've known him since I was just a little bitty boy. Hey, I've been you know, Paul must be about the same age. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I think he's been playing that piano. We're lucky. Singing and preaching since about 18 to 92. <laughs> he, used to, uh, he used to come to our church. I mean, not just to make you show enough, George, a little bigger fella. And he'd come up there and play the piano and sing. Sometimes he'd preach. Yeah. I just got a lot of respect for Brother Charles Boy. Amen. Amen. We've traveled a lot of miles. Our group started in about 1892. 1892, they said. Really, we started about 1970. Yeah. Barney and I may come on a little later on. We had a brother and an uncle that started with us. And uh, 1972, I guess we kind of started off about every week in somewhere. And we've been going bad ever since, except last year when the COVID hit. So we so we just booked all last year, but COVID stopped a lot of stuff. Oh, Bill was right, shut up. We don't regret a mile. That's right. Hey. <clears throat> I don't regret.
you've heard us do it before. But you know, when we leave here tonight, and I say this often, I don't know if I'll ever see you again right. in this life. Right. Right. Don't know. But I tell you what, if not, I'll make you a promise. If you got Jesus, I'll see you over there. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going. Yeah. Amen. Sure. Yeah. I'm going because he said I could. Yeah. 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 That plan of salvation right. Right. that he brought with him when he hung on that cross. And he yeah. gave Amen. that to us. And all we got to do is accept it. Yeah. Right. And I accepted that blood sacrifice. He applied that blood to my heart. Made me a fit subject to live with you. Amen. His kingdom. Amen. And I'm going. So if I'll never see you again here, I'll see you in heaven. Amen. 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 Good two more. Oh, one, two more. Yeah. Okay. Good that last. This year, some it really works Chris out. It says, what is it? You forget it? Yeah, I forgot. I did it too. I remember. Shout out. Party <laughs> says, you know, you see them, Christian with long faces, they ought to have to be happy, right? Amen. Right. Man. 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 So shout out. happy. See Christian all around. Y'all, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a There's a mansion now prepared for me. I'm told. Where the streets are packed with purest gold. Purest gold, all shiny white.
You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Sir. Uh, you know, we've been, uh, I was raised up for it. You didn't have to, you didn't know you had to have a motion a second before you could shout. Yeah. <laughs> Run to a building and make your vote on it. Right. I didn't like it too good. No. <laughs> uh, my Bible, I got to read my Bible and said, let everybody have breath, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 If he's not good enough for you to praise here, he probably ain't good enough to bury you up there. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I'd be in a hell right now if he hadn't been for his grace. Right. Me too, brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. They wasn't a good thing about me. Period. Amen. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I don't deserve nothing I've got. That's yes, right. right. Everybody here could be, uh, yes, sir. Listen, listen. Do you realize if it wasn't for the grace of God, you could be over here in a uh, dope house somewhere tonight? Right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You ain't above it. That's right. 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 True. You have four or five little young ones hanging off of you, didn't know where the daddy was. Mm hmm. It wasn't for the grace of God. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You'd be a part of the grain, you'd part of the penitentiary sometimes. Mm -hmm. But for the grace of God, you know what I mean? Right, brother. You say, well, you know, he saved us from sin. That's right. That's yeah. right. Amen. That's what he said. He saved us from sin. Amen. Right. Yeah. Ain't hey, that something? Yeah. Man, yeah. Took, a, uh, <laughs> took a wreck. <laughs> took a wreck. Yes. Hell bound. And saved us from sin. Yeah, he yeah. did. I guess something. Amen. Don't, listen, you say, yeah, I don't know about it. Listen, if you can't get a hold, if you get a hold of it, wrap it in your little mind. Mm. I'll give you something to praise the Lord for. Right? Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Uh, I got to get down there in my prayer room this evening. I get some more. Sometimes, sometimes you pray, and it, uh, I know the Lord hears us every time we pray, but sometimes you just don't have a prayer meeting before like you want to. Mm. Anybody else know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, we do. I know there's a lot of spiritual giants here, but sometimes yeah. I pray and go call Pierce and see if I don't get no word. You ever do that? <laughs> then sometimes when you get to uh, have a prayer meeting with him, you get hooked up with him and it's just me. Yeah, man. I like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't call me, I'll call you back. Amen. I turn my phone off. I've got to work on my phone off. Ain't nobody ever called no help if I want a bill paid or something like that. They'll call back. Don't worry about it. They'll call back. Your car insurance is dead. <laughs> Amen. All right. Preaching time. Amen. Preaching time. Now listen, there's a lot of hooping and hollering during the same. Yeah. Please God to the foolishness of preaching. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Ain't that right? That's right. That's right. right. Preaching time. Amen. I like preaching. I may, preach here, I may preach here all night. I may stay to midnight. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to wear up the gold. You, we'll send up, we'll send, if we get too late, we'll send Paul Pearson to the chicken house before they close. We'll be all right. <laughs> amen. 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 Come on, brother. <laughs> this is Brother Rick Prop. Yeah. He ain't no stranger here. That's right. Amen. Y'all know him? Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Seventy-five here tonight. <laughs> I second that. Yeah. I think George said he broke the record. He's going to preach off the roof on Sunday morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, Brother Larry Dow. I tried that one. Uh, he night. cannot I count. Preach the word on the roof and cut on the ground. <laughs> Amen. All right. Appreciate all the good singing That's tonight. Amen. And appreciate Brother. George and the church uh, uh, having this meeting. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, uh, I always enjoy coming here. And, uh, yeah. Always been a blessing. And appreciate Brother George and yeah. uh, his effort, his desire to want to do something for God. Yes, Amen. Sir. And uh, these days when they ain't too many people want to do anything for God. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I appreciate everybody that, uh, that wants to try to do something for the Lord. Amen. 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 So pray for them. Hold them up. Yeah, right. All right. Uh, if you have your Bibles, let's open tonight to Mark's Gospel, the sixth chapter tonight, the Gospel of Mark. Appreciate again the singing and appreciate uh, all of these. Uh,
preachers that are here tonight. We appreciate each one of you. Amen. Y'all are a happy tribe. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Now, did y'all get that name after George left or before? <laughs> <laughs> Six. That's my friend. <laughs> yeah, we're good friends. <laughs> Mark chapter 6. And I tell you what, we've been, uh, we stood just a minute ago. We're we'll standing anyway for reading the Word of God. We'll read six verses. You'll be right seated again, all right? The Bible said he went out from thence, and he, there's Jesus, and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Joseph, and of Judah, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folks and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went around about the villages teaching. Thank you, be seated. Our Father, we do thank you, Lord, tonight for the privilege, Lord, of being able to we have a service here on a Friday night. And uh, Lord, we uh, rather be with God's people yes. be where the Lord is than anywhere else, Lord, on this planet. And uh, fathers, we come tonight. We know tonight there couldn't have been no singing without God. There won't be no preaching without God. And uh, Lord, we're in a time when we need both. Yes, and uh, yes. oh God, we need the Lord to stir yes, us tonight. Yes, and uh, I pray you to help me to be used of the yes, Holy Ghost of God, God yes. to stir tonight. And I pray you'd stir me while you use me to stir others. Father, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for saving me and keeping me. I'm glad there's a part in me that you saved so yes. good it can't yes. sin. And I thank you, Father, that the other part you've made arrangements for. And we thank you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus we do pray. Amen and amen. amen. Uh, Mark's Gospel, if we went back to chapter 1 of Mark's Gospel, uh, he, don't give a, he don't go in depth like uh, Matthew and Luke does, uh, but he does tell us back in verse 9 uh, about how Jesus came to John in Jordan and said straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. There came a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am yeah. well pleased. Now, that's the beginning of Jesus' ministry. It begins after uh, the baptism by John and his ministry begins. Right. And uh, we can just go right through Mark and I tell you everywhere that we look after his baptism, uh, we just see the Lord uh, showing up mm -hmm. and showing out. Amen? Yeah. And uh, now when I talk about the Lord showing out, I don't mean in a prideful way or a wrong way or a sinful way. The Lord would never do that. Right. The Bible said in Philippians chapter 2, Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ yeah. Jesus, mm -hmm. who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but the Bible said he yeah. humbled himself uh, and uh, yeah. he became obedient to the uh, death of the cross. Amen. Amen. Being found in the fashion of a man, liking to a man, he humbled himself and became obedient. Uh, but the Bible said he did not make any <laughs> reputation for uh, himself. Uh, 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 and uh, so the Lord was no showman, so to speak. Uh, uh, when he went places uh, and he showed up, we find in the early part of his ministry that everywhere he went, uh, he showed up and he showed out. Uh, we find that immediately after leaving John, that the Bible said there in verse 12 and 13 that he met the devil there in the wilderness. Yes. And when he met the devil there in the wilderness, he showed up and he yep. showed out. Amen. 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 Uh, he defeated the devil everywhere he ever met him. Amen. And uh, Amen. it was no different when he met him there. And then the Bible said he left there and he walked down by the seashore, just walking along the seashore. 
And uh, he showed up there by the seashore. Mm -hmm. And he didn't just show up, but he showed out. Yeah. Uh, you say, what did he do? Well, he spoke to some men and said, come and follow me. I, and uh, they left the nets and they followed him. I, right. You try that and see how it works. Uh, you go down to where somebody works and say, uh, hey, come and follow me over the track of that yeah. church. Yeah. And, uh, and they'll probably look at you like you're crazy. Right. Right. Yeah. And then we find that he went on there. The Bible said he came to Capernaum. Amen. And he went there and there was a man in the synagogue that was uh, had an unclean spirit. And Jesus showed up in the synagogue. Uh, yeah. He showed up. Right. He showed out. Sure. Amen. Uh, yeah. The Bible said he cast out that uh, bad spirit yeah. out of that man. And they were amazed. The Bible yeah. said they were amazed. Right. He showed out. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then the Bible said they went down to the synagogue after leaving there. And the Bible said they came to Peter's mother-in-law yeah. uh, where she was sick at. And the Bible said that he uh, he healed her, amen. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she began to serve. Uh, so Jesus comes from church, and they go down to Peter's mother-in-law's house, and uh, he she's sick, and so he prays for her, and she gets well and begins to serve them. He showed up and he showed out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, we see after that the Bible said that he went out. Uh, and they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils. Uh, and they gathered unto him together at the door. And the Bible said he healed many. There the yeah. Lord, uh, he showed up. And again, uh, uh, the Lord showed out. Right. Uh, uh, we can go on and on. We can talk about when he came to the country of the Gadarenes. Uh, and that wild man come out living yeah. among the tombs. Yeah. Uh, right. Out of his head. Run out of town. Yeah. Uh, breaking yeah. chains. So, yeah. And the Bible said that Jesus showed up yeah. uh, and he showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, the Bible said Free. they came running yeah. down to where he was, that man did. Uh, and uh, Jesus said, What's your name? And he said, Legion, because we're many, he I said. Uh, and the Bible said Jesus showed up. Uh, and before he left, he showed out that Glory. man is sitting and clothed. Uh, yeah. And yeah. his right yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. Man, uh, uh -huh. And uh, we could go on and on and on. With story after story, yeah, I, I, I believe tonight. Uh, uh, wouldn't you like for Jesus to show up tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, bother me, yeah, show out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Uh, I'd like for him to show up, and I'd like for him to show out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe God's already here tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I believe the Lord's always here. Yeah, yeah. Together with God's people, uh, uh, the noble Lord, and preaching the right stuff and, and all of that. Uh, I believe when God's people come together, though there be but a few, uh, I believe the Bible said that He shows up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, he shows up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, a little boy's at school, and the teacher asked the classroom, she said, Class, uh, uh, she said, Can anybody? He said, I've got this apple here, uh, and a uh, big apple, shiny apple, uh, and she he said, I will give this apple to anybody that can tell me where God is. Uh, and an old little boy in the back stood up, raised his hand. Uh, he said, Teacher, I got a whole bushel at the house. I'll give you if you can tell me where God ain't. Amen. 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 Since last 
year. I notice that God's people, many of them are faithful. Many of them are sitting there like they always did. Many of the preachers are preaching good. The singers are singing good. But I noticed it's like there's a, a, a spirit of trance or something over the church. It's like everybody just sitting there looking like a calf, looking at a new game. Including myself. Amen. I'm saying what we're doing is we're going down to the house of God. And Jesus is a showing up. But he ain't a showing out. And I believe this chapter tells us. I believe this chapter tells us tonight. Why? That sometimes Jesus shows up. But he don't show out. I see here tonight the Bible said in verse 1. He went out from thence uh, and came into his own That's country. Uh, uh, did you notice something here? Uh, the Bible said he went out and he came into his own country and his disciples followed him. Uh, uh, Jesus came into his own country. Uh, yeah. Jesus came into town. Uh, yeah. uh, Jesus came uh, right there. Uh, but you know what? Nobody come out to greet him. Uh, right. uh, you don't find anybody running out to greet, greet him. Uh, right. And say, Lord, greet. we're glad you're here. Uh, uh, Lord, we heard you coming this way. Uh, and we've been waiting for you, Lord. Uh, I know there's not none of that here. Right. Uh, you say why? Well, uh, I, I think that they did not appreciate, they had no appreciation uh, uh, for his presence. Amen. Amen. Uh, I think that's what's going on in our churches. Uh, yep. I think that's what's going on. Uh, right. uh, is that Jesus shows up, uh, uh, but we really have no appreciation for uh, uh, his presence being there. Yep. Amen. Yep. Uh, in other words, we don't even welcome him. We don't even greet him. Uh, service. Uh, we don't stand up and say thank you Lord. Uh, I'm glad you came today. Uh, yeah. uh, we don't stand up and raise a hand. Uh, uh, right. We don't give a testimony. Uh, uh, we don't let the Lord know that we're glad uh, uh, that he's there. Uh, yeah. I don't know about you. I don't like to go nowhere where I don't feel welcome. Yeah. Uh, I, don't like to, uh, I don't like to go nowhere when uh, I feel like I'm intruding. Uh, yeah. I, 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 they don't
don't you? Yeah. Uh, when you study that thing out, uh, uh, you'll find Jesus came 70 miles to get where she was uh, and turned around when he done what he did uh, and went 70 miles back. Uh, uh, you say, what's that mean? That meant he comes 70 miles. Uh, uh, he wanted to bless that woman anyway. Uh, uh, he intended to bless that woman anyway. Uh,
About 12.30 that night, they're still sitting around. Yeah. You can't hardly hold your head up, amen. Yeah. You're not quite as happy to see them as you was. <laughs> and you really wish they'd go ahead and leave, but you ain't going to tell them that. I, I, that's the way we do the Lord sometimes. I, I, the Lord shows up I, about the th first 30 minutes of the service. I, and we get to looking at our watch and say, if, we don't, if they don't hurry up, shut this thing down. I, I ain't going to be able to go supper tonight. I, I've got a long ways to go, Jesus. We wish you'd just go ahead and leave. setting upon an ass and a colt, the fowl of an ass. The disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. They brought the ass and the colt and put on their clothes and they set him their own and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees uh, and strawed them in the way. Uh, and the multitude that went before and that followed cried Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name yeah. of the Lord. Uh, Hosanna in the highest. Uh, and the Bible said when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved. Uh, uh, saying, who is this? Amen. Uh, uh, there were some people that was glad uh, uh, to see their king yeah. coming. Amen. Uh, yeah. Uh, they had heard yeah. him coming uh, and uh, they began to make preparations. Uh, uh, they began to cut palm branches uh, right. and get something for him to ride. You oh, say, why? Right. They was glad Jesus yeah, was man. coming to town. Yeah, Amen. Man. Uh, I tell you what, you and I ought to be glad. You say, why? Because Jesus is coming. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, we ought to be happy.
and he called me one morning and he said, Brother Rick, I, he said, I don't know you that well. I, he said, can I ask you a question? I said, yes, sir. What do you want to ask me? And he said, well, he said, have you ever used anything uh, of somebody else's? Uh, I said, I don't quite understand you. He said, have you ever used uh, a message somebody else preached? Uh, I said, well, sure. I said, every preacher's done that. Amen. Uh, Amen. He said, my church voted me out today uh, uh, because they said I used a message uh, uh, that somebody else had used. Uh, I said, you go back tonight, you tell that, ask that song leader if he wrote all them songs I said, you have said Sunday school teacher. If they wrote that, they would teach it. Amen. I'm telling you, listen, it all belongs to God. Amen. I'm telling you, God gives it to me. Amen. 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 But then the Bible said in verse 2, and when the Sabbath day was come, Amen. he began to teach. Yeah. But yeah. nobody's gathered around. Yeah. It's not, not like it was over in Mark 2. The Bible said it was noise to grow. Jesus is in the house. Amen. And he's preaching the word. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible said they came. The house was so full, uh, there was no place to get into the door. Uh, lost people had to be lowered down from the roof. Uh, you say, why? Because Jesus uh, I was in the house preaching the word. Uh, uh, they appreciated his presence, amen. Uh, and he showed out there uh, in Mark 2. Uh, but here in Mark 6, Mark 6 uh, Jesus shows up. Jesus is teaching. Uh, but yeah. they're not appreciating his teaching. Oh, man. Right. Yeah. Amen. Right. Not like over in Mark. They don't have an appetite for yeah. the right. teaching of the Word of God. Right. Right. You know what's wrong tonight? Yeah. Why He shows up but He don't show out? Yeah. Not only do we not appreciate His presence, but we have no appetite right. 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 for right. His right. teaching. Right. That's right, brother. We really have no appetite for the Word of God. Now, if we have no appetite, we must analyze this thing and we must find out why we don't have an appetite. Right. Why is it that we don't hunger after the Word of God? I, don't. I doubt if there's anybody in here like Job. Right. Job said, I desire his words uh, uh, more than my necessary food. Yeah. Yeah. I doubt there's anybody here that desired the Word of God this morning more than your bacon and eggs and a hot cup of coffee. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You say, right. Brother Rick, you read the Bible before you drink coffee. I don't do anything before I drink right. coffee. About <laughs> <laughs> right. four cups of it. Amen. About <laughs> five cups of it. Really, I make a whole pot and I make it real strong. Amen. I get up. I get up about five. Yeah. But between five and seven, I've broke that whole pot of coffee. <laughs> then what I do, I fill that thing up with water again, and I, I pour it back food from my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Say, why? She gets up later, man, she don't like her strong. Right. Amen. Yeah. And I tell you what, Job said I'd rather have his word and I would have eaten the eggs and ham and coffee. He said, I desire his word more than that. He had an appetite for the word of God. Amen. And didn't even have the King James Bible. He had an appetite for the word of God. Amen. See, some things cause you to lose appetite. There's one right here, right where we read. You just look up in the last part of chapter 5 there. The Bible said that, uh, you know the story, Jairus had come to Jesus. And Jairus said, Jesus, I need you to come. My daughter's at the point of death. Right. They started down there at Jairus' house, and then a, a woman ran in with a problem. Jesus stopped and helped her, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah, then, then, then Jairus' the slave come running up through the air servant, and he said, don't bother the master. She's already dead. Mm -hmm. She's already dead. He said, don't trouble him. But Jesus turned to Jairus and he said, I want to believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They went down there to Jairus' house. Yeah. 
And the Bible said he suffered no man to follow him save Peter, James, John, the brother James. And he come to the house, the ruler of the synagogue, saith the turmoil of them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make you this ado and weep? You know, we get tore up about stuff Jesus that don't even bother him. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course, well, he knows what he's going to do. We don't. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the Bible said they laughed and scorned, and when he had put them out, he taken the father and mother of the damsel and put them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talakamai, which has been interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straightway the damsel rose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years. And they were astonished. Jesus showed up. Yeah. And Jesus showed out. Amen. Yeah. They were astonished, yeah. the Bible said. Yeah, right. Yeah. Amen. And he said, and he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and he commanded that something should be given her to eat. <laughs> now, did you notice this? Nobody gave her anything when she was dead. Mm. Right. right. That's right, right. You say, why? You ever seen a dead man have an appetite? Right, right. Come on. That's good. That's good. Now, now the people, the people that go see the dead man, they got an appetite. Yeah. That's why he carry all that food down to the funeral home in the basement, amen. Right. But I have not one time ever seen somebody come down there and get a ham biscuit and say, I'll be back in a minute. I'm taking this to that dead man up there. Right. You know why they don't do that? He has no appetite. Yeah. Right. right. You know why? Yeah. The times we come yeah. into the house of God uh, and the Lord shows That's up good. and we don't show out, we have no appetite for the Word of God. Right. Yeah. We have no appetite yeah. for Bible preaching. Right. You know what singing is supposed to be? That's an appetizer for yeah, the preacher. That's right. That's exactly right. right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I like what that brother said. He said these preachers are, are itching to preach. <laughs> that good anointed gospel singing, you know what? Good gospel singing makes you want to preach. Yeah, yeah, amen. Right. They say there's two kinds of preaching that my preachers that make you want to preach. The ones that can and the ones that can't. Amen. Yeah, right. They make you want to preach. I, the Bible said that they had, a, had no appetite for the Word of God. They're not begging Jesus, teach us something, show us something. I, I give us something out of that book. Give the preacher something to give us. Give us some bread from heaven. Amen. 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 We go down the house of God. You say, I wish I had a better preacher. If you was a better prayer, you probably would. That's right. That's good. Right. Right. That's good. Right. That's good. Right. You know, That's right. you know when I'm hungry, and I ain't been hungry too many times, but a few times I've been really yeah. hungry. And when I was really hungry, it didn't matter what they said on the table. I, right. I eat it and it tastes good and was thankful to get it. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, we went down to the house of God. Sermon or a five point sermon or a three point sermon, and people went down to the house of God yeah. and they were yeah. hungry. I tell you, I they'd be glad to get anything out of the world. Yeah. 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 You can't go to church, preacher. That's right. Amen. 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 Dead people don't want nothing to eat. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, even a little baby when it's born. It wants something to eat. Right. right. Well, the Bible likens that to a young Christian. Yeah. yeah. Those newborn babes desire, desire, desire yeah. a sincere milk of the Lord. I tell you what, I'm 67 years old and I, I still like milk. Yeah. <laughs> I've got where to eat some meat. Mm. You say that meat ain't good for them. It's what God likes. Amen. 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 You say, how do you know that? When he came down to Abraham's house, Abraham didn't say, sir, fix him a salad. He didn't say, sir, I heat up him chicken nuggets. Amen. Right. I know, sir, when he came down to Abraham's house, I, Abraham went out in the field, killed a calf. I,
Well, the lady said, Brother Rick said, we need to put some signs up. How will they know where the fellowship hall is? I said, they'll find it. Yeah. 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 Y
Brother Rick, how's your sugar doing? You got much trouble with it? I said, she ain't been too bad this week. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I said, Lord, we don't want that. We're going to go down the road. We, we're going to get something else, Lord. Right, right. And see this fast food business. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's, picked, it's come over into the church. Yeah. 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 We want a preacher to serve us up something in 10 minutes. Right. Yeah. Man. I'd say another 10 years, our window be knocked out and you drive through there. Drive right through the window, amen? Yeah. 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 Honey, the shape we're in, we don't need fast food. We need something that's simmered and cooked all day long. Yeah. We need something that's great over yeah. the season. Yeah. That's what we need. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. The Bible said they desire something else. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. See, right. you always want dessert first. Mm -hmm. When you live, we're, we're talking a lot of times about a church full of babies. Sure. Oh, yeah. And everybody wants the candy first. Right. But you know what happens after you get the candy first? You don't want the other stuff. That's it. So, right. Mama, say you eat them beans and then you can get a cookie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you eat that and then you, you can get some candy. Not till you eat that. Amen. Right. I'll go about around right here. I'll tell you, I have Jubilee and I have preachers in all different shades and sorts and all like that. And you know, people are, they'll pick out, you know, one of them I like George and one of them might like Steve and one of them might like John. And there'll be some they, they just don't like, you know. <laughs> I've been telling them this for, for 40 years. That preacher that you like the least is the one you need the most. Amen. That one that skins your hide, runs you up one side, down the other, the reason you don't like him is because it hurts. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 But that's what makes you better. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. Here's another thing. Jesus said, He had filled the hungry with good things. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you come down here hungry tonight, like I said, it don't matter who preaches or what's preached. If you come down here hungry, you'll find something good. Amen. 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 People say, preacher, I believe that message was just for me. I don't believe that ever happens. I don't believe God ever right. sets a table just for one of his young ones and everybody else goes away hungry. Right. 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 You may feel that way, good. but I believe every time God sets a table, He puts something on there for every one of us. Amen. Right. Amen. I believe even tonight, God's got something on the table you need and I need. Maybe all of it. Amen. Amen. Right. Good. That's true. That's true. That's good preaching. He said, He has filled the hungry with good things. Watch this. And the rich, He has sent away empty. In other words, when you come down to the house of God and you're already full, yeah. how's God going to get anything in you? Amen. 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 When you're full, when you're full of social media eight or ten hours a day, right? Come on, preacher. Amen. Amen. I never seen much of it in my life. Yeah. I said another few years. You go down the funeral home, they won't be like this no more. They'll be like this. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right, man. Amen. That's right. And I know we're handy. I know we. I know we've been life saved. I understand all that. Right. But I'm just saying we don't have to feel ourselves stuff ourselves full and then go down the house of God and there ain't no room for God. Amen. 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 That's, That's right. right. No appetite. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Right. No appetite yeah. for his. Right. Yes. Teaching. Well, I appreciate his presence tonight. Amen. 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 I appreciate somebody teaching me his word. Amen. Preaching me his word. Yes. But the Bible said in verse 6, he marveled yeah. because of their unbelief. Yes. They had no anticipation of him performing. That's right. You say what he's saying. Well, they didn't think he was going to do anything. Right. Yep. Amen. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's right. good. Amen. We're going down there, but he ain't going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. good right there. If you got that kind of attitude tonight, tomorrow, he ain't going to do much. Right. That's right. right. Amen. Exactly right. Amen. Amen. You go down there expecting him to do something. Amen. That's good. That's right. You're right. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody gets saved. Yeah. Somebody yeah. get back right with God. Yeah. Hold them, put them back together. Right. Yeah. Preacher to just preach a good sermon. The singer's just the same. Somebody to testify with God on them. Amen. 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 <laughs> you throw this in there while I'm at it. Do you know when, Abraham, when, when God came to see Abraham, Abraham didn't say, Sir, bring them leftovers in here. That's exactly yeah, right. Amen. That's good, right? Amen. 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 You say you don't like leftovers? Oh, I like them. I like them. But I don't believe what I've heard all my life. Them leftovers better today than it was yesterday. No, no, no. no. I, I ain't never eaten none. I ain't never eaten none that was as good as when they was fresh. Amen. 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 Yeah. And I said that to say this. God likes freshness. Amen. Amen. God would like to hear a fresh testimony. God would like to hear a fresh song. God would like to hear a fresh sermon. God would like to see somebody do something fresh. That's good. Yeah. I don't live on the testimony you've been showing God. I, I, for the last 40 years, I thank God for it, but God would like to hear something fresh. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
We're either we're either empty or we're barely, barely getting by tonight. Amen. Right. That's right. Amen. Amen. But what if tonight that thing was laid plumb over on full? You know, I, I filled my truck up today. You know how when you get it up so full and you kick that handle on it, it's full. Yeah. You can squeeze a couple more dollars in there yeah, if it does yeah. that. Yeah. I'd like to get full of God and squeeze in a little more, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it if it just run over tonight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Run out a little bit tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You say, what happens if you're exceedingly full? What happens? Ask Stephen. The Bible says Stephen was full of faith and power and he did great works. Yeah. 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 Man. Right. When we get full of God, we can do great works for God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Here's what the Bible said about Stephen. Yeah. He was a good man. Yes. And because he knew God and he was a good man, the Bible said he was full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And faith. Yeah. There ain't no such thing as being full of the Holy Ghost and not being full of faith. Amen. Amen. The Bible said he was full of the Holy Ghost and he was full of faith and much people were added unto the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why we ain't seeing too many say. <clears throat> That's right. Amen. I ain't had to bite my back so long. I thought about filling with dirt and playing flowers. Oh, my. But we sent uh, two kids, George, over there to camp, you know. I had these two kids, that, one of my and one of my men, he was neighbors with them. And uh, these are little kids, they're about that big, on up. And uh, I guess the families, I'm sure they don't know God. They're kind of rough. And the little boys stayed that big, got them big earrings yeah, both ears. Yeah. The little girl got green hair. And the, the oldest boy, he, he, he looks pretty good just looking at him, but they's all lost. Yeah. I said, Brian, see if you can get them kids to go to Brother Broughton's camp. So yeah. it's hard to pay for it for you yeah. to go yeah. Yeah. get around with some God. Mm -hmm. I went down there on Monday night, and there's 120 teenagers down there. And I seen Brian, I said, Brian, how's, how's she doing? He said, well, she's actually everybody's judging her. And about that time, this girl walked by with purple hair. I have said I never was so glad to see somebody with purple hair. <laughs> <laughs> I said, why? Because that little girl had somebody she could identify with. Yeah. I'm going to baptize them Sunday morning. Amen. 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 They got saved, George. They called me today. They said they got saved down there at camp. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you what, them little old kids, uh, uh, you say they can't do nothing. No, they come expecting something. They come wanting something. Uh, they come uh, empty wanting God to fill them. Amen. That's why they have church. Amen. I told my church Amen. the other day, I said, if these kids don't get on fire for God and get excited for God, we ain't going to have nothing to happen because you old people don't made up your mind. You ain't going to do nothing but sit there Amen. and right. look, at, look at me like a calf looking at a new game. Amen. 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 I said, if I can get your grandkids stirred up, if I can get your daughter stirred up, you'll be stirred up. Amen. 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 You might believe you go down to the ball field and watch Grandma. She, yeah. She can't hardly get around. She can't hardly walk. She's on the walker and two crutches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you watch her little girl. She don't hit a home run. She just bumps and she's up high. Praise God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So the other day came to church. She said, Preacher, she said, I just can't hardly come to church. I said, what's wrong? She said, well, I failed. And she said, I can't lift my arm no higher than that. I said, how high could you hit, lift it before you fail? She said, about my like <laughs> 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 I can't get it this way. All that stuff is, amen. Okay. We, go, we go down there where God is. We go down there. I appreciate God's presence. We go down there with an appetite for the Word. Sure, George, I hope. I know the Lord 
Lord's already showed up. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Sure. The Lord showed up. He'll yeah. show back up again Amen. tomorrow. Amen. 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 I hope He shows out. Amen. 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 Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you tonight for the liberty to preach. Thank yeah. you, Brother George, and invite me, trust me, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Pull pit. Thank you for those people that uh, put up and listened to me tonight. Yeah. But Lord, I believe that is the absolute truth as to why, Lord, these days you show thank up, you, but you just, you just can't show out. It's not yeah. you, Lord, it's us. Yeah. Oh, God, may we get a hunger for these things. I pray you bless the rest of the service. I pray even now that somebody in the Lord has stirred their heart. May God have his way, the Spirit have liberty, and people obey him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Rejoice you come to what you want to do. Uh, uh, Y'all come to sing an invitation song. Party, get the group on. Let me let me do this before uh, while they're coming. You know, uh, I would really love to see the Lord show up and do something here. So would you? Amen. Amen. If you'll obey the Lord right now. We can have a jubilee meeting in here that's a jubilee worship service. Let's all stand up here and watch get ready to sing. Won't you, won't you sleep out of your seat and come down here and do business with the Lord and say, Lord, 